For spring break, Isaiah Clark's checking out the University of Texas at Austin with his parents. They have a really good computer science program, and it's in Texas, so it's cheaper than other places. He's already been accepted and is excited to be attending this fall. He's one of the last wave of freshmen who can opt into submitting standardized test scores with his application, though it's something he did anyway. My SAT was above the average for UT. Monday morning, the school announced that for the fall of 2025 class, this will once again be mandatory for all applicants, a policy that's been suspended since the pandemic due to testing availability. In this way, we'll have better information about all of our applicants and do a better job, we think, of putting them in the right programs and also providing the right support. Some are concerned about the equity of these tests. I think it's uh, important for the school to not disregard students that come from maybe lower income areas where, you know, there's not as much preparation for these exams. While freshman Aaron Solberon says he also submitted test scores, he says as a student not automatically admitted under Texas's top 6% rule for high schoolers, he strongly believes his application was carried by other requirements. If I hadn't done as good of a job, my essays and my uh, everything else that took part in that holistic review of the admission, uh, I feel that maybe I wouldn't be here today. But Vice Provost for Admissions Miguel Wasialuski says context is important and promises the holistic review of applications won't change. The first thing they do is understand what the profile is of the high school, um, what circumstances the students are coming from and what their environment is like. He says the university has found that those who submitted test scores perform better on average than those who don't and 90% of applicants last year took a standardized test anyway. The majority of students are actually taking the test. They're just going through a decision process of whether or not to include that test. Isaiah doesn't believe the change will make much of a difference, but knows not every story is like his. If your score is below the average of the college you're applying, so then they could just omit, but they won't have that option now, so it'll be different for different people. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.